I think we got more votes from the southeast than it got from the entire north in 2019. Oshimole. Oshimole, welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. The former governor of Edo State and the leader of the Bola Tremble Campaign Council has questioned the chances of Peter B. and Atiku as the 2023 presidential election draws nearer. During his interview on TVC News, the former All Progressive Congress National Chairman recalled that Peter B. and Atiku could not win the 2019 presidential ticket on a United ticket. Addressing the topic, Ushimala said, My very good friend, Peter B. was Atiku Abubakar's running mate in the 2019 election, and the combined ticket could not deliver. Atiku got more votes from the Southeast than it got to the entire northern part of the country. He said that he was not accepted at home anymore because more than he was accepted in the southeast. He continued, Now this ticket is split and the splinter group is the southeast represented by P2B. Can P2B or Atiku individually win with what the United Ticket could not achieve? Please come out and say it to the future, sir. Just say that EPC rigged the 2019 election because that was what happened. No, come out and tell me the truth. Ha ha. See your dollar way of thinking as if is if if your twenty nineteen is twenty twenty three. Of thinking as if twenty nineteen is twenty twenty three. You talk as if everything that happened in twenty nineteen remained the same till twenty twenty three. Oh God, did you not say anything like would be one million match in twenty? Okay, oh God, did you say anything like would be one million match in twenty nineteen? Did you see majority of Nigerians highly dissatisfied in twenty nineteen? The way they are doing today. Did you say Muslim Muslim ticket in 2019? This was the same noise we made in that last global election in the Dutch state before Governor Basaki, who you groomed politically, ended up giving you a bloody noise and a disgrace of a century in your entire political career. Now, I can beat my chest to it that APC rigged the election. There is nothing you can tell me. 2019, people were already seeing the red flags. Some people were convinced that they made a mistake. So don't, it is even, 2019 people don't really know, so then, then F up. Ha-ha. People know. Some people knew. Some people voted for PD. In fact, the truth about the matter is, uh, I heard you know, from a lot of areas. Sometimes I heard from people with most especially the questions, how they went out to vote, and um, their, their, the ballot box was snatched, and, you know, some were emptied into, into gutters, into canals. You know, all those times, people, people who came out to vote, they wasted their time. I beg don't come out and tell me 2019. 2019, a lot of people, they were now aware that, no, they made a mistake. And they wanted to correct it. Did I even mention that some people died in some areas in Lagos State? The Goshens. The Goshens will tell you this. So don't come out here to give us the 2019 people. I beg, do not do that. Do not bring back those ugly memories. Okay, let's wait and see. Oshimala is correct in his analysis 100%. I'm a Buharis and I've never been dissatisfied. Oh, okay. No problem. I'm not even sure if Tunibu can defeat Kwan Kwasu in the North, Douglas of Atiku. Many people still don't know Northerners. Northerners votes will be split between Atiku and Kwan Kwasu. Tunibu and the little will be, but the B is taking more than 60% of the Southerners' vote, which puts them on the higher advantage. 60% you said, hmm, if he doesn't get above 80, there's something went wrong. Deliver your home front first before you talk of other zone. You do not know, please, okay? My own is at this stage, huh? sincerely, anybody waste you, they do say, you don't know who to vote for, when we vote for APC, make you know, say sincerely, the person is benefiting big time from the old progressives. That is just the truth. When he was contesting against the and the first born of the North, now he's contesting as the second born of the not against Southerners. We surely should be sensible to know what to expect. I think to agree with you. I said that the not the not too is careful because they know if a northern should succeed and more importantly full and no more monolithic north of old. The north central is not guaranteed. The not west and not and the north west not and the not is he has to struggle. He has the house to contend with. What are you saying? <laughs> Okay, he betrayed the northeast. He betrayed the southeast by usurping the party constitution to produce the next Fagbera. 
ethnic arrogance and reduce Juvenus and play the part in portraying him as a pretender. I did tell you. I did tell you. To end, will you, okay. Will you stop with all this, your lies? This is one reason I hate APC so much. They are all manipulators and deceivers. That is why we've come to enter the free. We should make sure we are not being manipulated. We should make sure we are not being deceived again. The greatest lie of the old progressive and the people democratic party is trying to portray obedient as Southeast candidates. Why are they stopping rallies in Castina, Cardona, Quara, and Lagos? Yeah, my dear, if you ask me, I do not know. But the thing is, that is what they're doing. They're coming out to make it look as if the South is, I mean, P2B is a Southeast member. Or not just a Southeast member, that he is an IPOB member. All right. And the thing is, people are almost falling for it. That is why I would always say, if you come out to say, okay, OB is an IPOB member, then that means I am, I should be very correct if I come out to say, I think who is actually a bandit, right, or a terrorist. No, 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 it should be like that now. That is it. Now, somebody will come and tell me, so, I'm equating um, bandism and, uh, what's it called, the I, the people of IP, but I'm saying no, let's, let's, let's go that way. Let's go that way. Okay. You seem an ec economic over the truth indeed. There is splitting. However, why there is splitting in the South is almost the campaigns in the United States are moving to PDP and not LP or APC. In this light, what is left on the whole South is being shared by the free political parties where I still get most of all the Northern votes. Then who wins? Okay. You are still going with this, your agenda of um, people go vote for their kinsman. No problem. Oshimole is an enemy of the united and prosperous Nigeria. He took with both sides of his mouth. And above all, he is cursed and anyone he supports must lose. <laughs> okay. Simply because the Igbo saw in the B what everyone is seeing now. A frugal manager of resources and not corrupt. And not an egomaniac. Huh. Okay. Well, the truth about it, the truth about the matter is, let us do the needful. All these ones are not even necessary. Sincerely. Well, necessary, I'm telling you. All those coming out to talk, you know, they're not necessary. Come to into the free election. We should make sure that we do the needful. We should make sure we we'll come out and, um, you know, vote our conscience. That is why I keep saying we don't need to come out and make any noise at all. We should be very quiet. Twenty the free will come out and vote our conscience. Then, you know, uh, we vote our conscience. Then we know. That time we will, we will understand the people where we say, they don't wake up and the people will be saying they still just sleep. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time.